Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany for CBR. I'm at New York Comic Con 2022 and I'm with the incredible Zeb Wells, writer of Amazing Spider-Man and Dark Web, the upcoming event in That's December. Right. Zeb, thank you so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. How is, how's your con going so far? It's going uh, incredibly, yeah, very busy, but very fun. Great, great. So let's get into Dark Web. Can you give us a little tease, kind of your elevator pitch for it? Yeah, so we have Ben Riley, who has uh, gone to the villainous side as Chasm, and he's coming back for a little bit of revenge on Peter Parker, and he's brought a friend who has a lot of, in common with Madeline Pryor. Yeah, yeah, no. Um, so in that regard, you kind of have double duty for Spider-Man fans and X-Men fans. How did you kind of balance these two worlds? Well, it helped uh, coming off of Hellion, so I'm uh, still on the X Slack, and I know what's going on over there, and mm -hmm. have a great relationship with Jerry, who's going to be coming on and helping. So, and uh, also love those characters in Madeline Pryor. So it's been fun. Uh, two great tastes that go great together. <laughs> I love that. But you're not going to be alone in this. You're collaborating with Adam Kubert. Absolutely incredible. I saw some of the art over on the Marvel booth. What was it like working with him? Uh, a dream come true. I've been such a fan for so long, have been watching what him and Ben Percy are doing on Wolverine very jealously. Right. So, and anytime I can get one over on Ben Percy, I like to do it. So, <laughs> I got your artist, Ben, and uh, you can't have him back. <laughs> so, Beyond kind of more recently at the Hellfire Gala, um, Spidey and the X-Men team have not really crossed over recently. Yeah, it's been a while, right? It's been, you know, Spider-Man and Wolverine were on the Avengers together there for a while, but mm -hmm. that's been exciting as well because I just think Spider-Man's one of those characters that is fun to play off of other mm -hmm. uh, superheroes, so seeing him play off the X-Men has been really fun. Yeah, um, before you mentioned that uh, Madeline and Ben had some common commonalities, um, you know, what is it about the fact that they're both clones and maybe not too happy about being considered not fully a person that you think is going to come out here? Well, yeah, I think that that's just something that's very relatable. I think all of us at, at a certain time have felt left behind, or like if you get broken up with. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know who would be foolish enough to do that with me, but uh, it's happened <laughs> a few times, and it doesn't feel good. Or if you don't get a job or something, you, you, know, sure. you, you know what it feels like to feel like everyone is out there having a great, uh, sparkly, shiny life. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, for some reason that keeps coming up when uh, I think about these clones, that you know they deserve those lives just as much as anyone, but mm -hmm. it seems like the original copy gets to have all the good stuff. And so I think there's a lot of hurt there with yeah. those two characters that they they relate to and kind of bond over. Yeah, yeah. Also, they both have these very kind of outspoken fan bases, so. They, do, they certainly <laughs> do, I've noticed that, yes. Well, hopefully that'll generate a lot of excitement uh, yeah. to see these two in the, in the spotlight again. Um, so, additionally, um, Ben has a, uh, I would say, maybe in his DNA, a penchant for redheads. Can we yeah. maybe see a little bit of uh, beyond the professional uh, relationship for these well, I don't, I don't like how you're disregarding Janine right now, which is, <laughs> which is Ben's first one and only redhead. Listen. Uh, so yes, in this story, Ben and Madeline keep it professional. Okay. Um, okay. Yes, I, um, I, I want to be very clear about that for Janine's sake. Okay. I, I, you know, I think all. Let's consider Janine. <laughs> <laughs> always, always. Um, so after Dark Web, can you give us a little tease? for Amazing Spider-Man. Where is the future of, of Spider-Man? Yes, yeah, so I've started to dig into that, and me and Johnny uh, are going to start explaining and showing what Peter did that has everyone upset with him. We started this run mm -hmm. uh, six months after an event that happened that put Peter at odds with some of the other superheroes okay. in the Marvel Universe, so we're digging into that story. Mm -hmm. We're going back to the end of um, the last run of Amazing Spider-Man 93, picking up right where that left off okay. and showing what happened. I love that. You, you've whet the appetite and yeah. you know, you're giving us a little space to really think about it, let it set in, you know, build that mystery of it. I yeah, that. and then we'll end our first year with everyone up to speed and go into our second year um, with a clean slate. Okay, before I go, or before we go, I should say, um, what are you most excited about for Dark Web? I think I'm most excited about Ben and Madeline having their moment to shine, having their moment in the sun, and seeing what those two get up to. 
uh, left to their own devices. For I sure. love it. Yeah. I love it. I'm I'm super excited for it. Honestly, um, having come off of your Hellions run, yeah. Um, you know, checking in with your Spider-Man run as well. I can't wait to pick it up. So I'm definitely going to be on the dark web train. Yeah, and also I have to mention that Ed McGinnis is doing the uh, the Spider-Man, the Amazing Spider-Man issues of Dark Web, that's and that's uh, that's pretty exciting. That's going to well. be incredible. Yeah. 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 The, what's it like working with Ed? Uh, it's fantastic. I think that his art kind of gets into your imagination and you want to just do the craziest, most bombastic stuff um, and try to inspire him. And then he came with a lot of ideas yeah. um, for the, the limbo sections of the story. So it was fun collaborating with him. Yeah, it sounds like honestly a great collaboration. Yeah. I can't wait to see it on the page. Again, Dark Web's coming out in December. Zeb, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for talking with me. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so for CBR, I'm Tiffany at New York Comic Con 2022. Thanks for watching. Thank you.